This video is brought to you by Ultium. In today's episode, you will learn how to make an IoT based security project using the Kyan IoT platform, PIR sensor, and the most popular Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. Maybe almost 90% of you guys might still be unaware of the Kyan IoT platform. To be very frank, I also came to know about the Kyan platform just a few days back. And when I first started using it, I was really astonished after seeing its unbelievable features. I'm quite sure you might be quite well acquainted with Blink application, which is a popular IoT platform. A number of other parallel platforms do exist, for example, UV Dots, ThinkSpeak, Google Spreadsheet, IFTTT, Google Assistant. And Arduino IoT Cloud, etc. Believe me, IoT platforms which I have just conferred, the kind platform is a perfect competitor for each one of these. I must rather say the kind platform is actually far better than those mentioned, and I'm claiming all this based on my personal experience. And you are also going to learn about it quite shortly because I'm about to make an IoT based human motion detection security system using a PIR sensor, not MCU ASP8266 Wi-Fi module and Kyan IoT platform. You might be thinking that this security system can be built by means of using any IoT platform, then why have I been stressing so much on the Kyan platform? Well, its main reason is that through the application of Kyan IoT platform, you can send a notification message on any cell number around the world and you can also send an email notification message and you can do it absolutely free of cost. You will be able to realize it for yourself when I practically demonstrate it in a minute. Anyways, the objective behind carrying out such a simple type of project is to make you understand how to get started with the Kyan IoT platform. So before I'm going to explain the circuit diagram, how to create the Kyan IoT dashboard and ESP8266 programming. First, let's watch the Kyan and Node MCU ESP8266 IoT based security system in action. This video is sponsored by Ultium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for the delay push, slide, and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, then you can click on the first link in the description.
components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The red wire of the PIR sensor, which is the VCC wire, is connected with a 3.3 volt pin of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Yellow wire is the signal wire and is connected with a D0 pin of the Node MCU module. Black wire is the ground wire and it should be connected with the ground pin of the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. These are the minimal connections that you will need for this project in case you plan to power up the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module using your computer or laptop which is good for the initial testing but in the long run you will need an external power supply. On the left side you can see a regular 5 volt power supply which is based on the LM7805 linear voltage regulator. J1 is the DC female power jig and this is where you can connect your 12 volt DC adapter, a solar panel, battery etc. The input voltage should be below 28 volts. Don't forget to add these 470 microfarad decoupling capacitors at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. I completed all the connections as per the circuit diagram and now let's start with the Kain IoT platform. Now choose a device to start a project. You can select any of these devices. If you are not able to see ESP8266 then click on all devices. Now in the microcontroller section you can see generic ESP8266. There are also multiple sensors, actuators, extensions and LoRa devices which you can use. For now I will start with the ESP8266. To connect your device with the Kyan IoT platform, you will need the MQTT username, MQTT password and the client ID. Now simply copy and paste these credentials into the programming. You can see it's waiting for the board to connect. Is I have not uploaded the code and my ESP8266 board is not connected with the Wi-Fi. Before you upload the program, first make sure you download the Kyan MQTT ESP8266 library. You can see I have already installed this library. Rest of the code is pretty straightforward. I simply entered the SSID and password. My PIR sensor is connected to D0 pin on the Node MCO module. I also defined a variable for storing the PIR value. Inside the loop function, we simply read the PIR sensor and store the output of the PIR sensor in a variable PIR val and finally we send this value to the Kyan dashboard. Now let's go ahead and upload the program. The program has been uploaded and now let's go back to the Kyan platform. Wait for the board to connect. We are receiving the data on channel 0 which is also defined in the code. Click on A to dashboard button. Click on the settings to select the widget name, channel, icon and number of decimals. A 
again click on the settings and this time click on the trigger. Name your trigger. Next click on the setup notification. Enter the email address to which you want to send the notification message. Click on the Add More Recipients. You can enter another email address or you can enter a cell phone number. Don't forget to add the country code. Finally, drag your device and select the trigger. Now you can click on the save button. All these settings are done and now let's practically check this project. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.